this GSO 10 that I just used for scraping off a lot of this uh, bark from this oak tree I'm going to use as a corner post fencing my plot. Uh, I haven't touched the edge since I bought it. Uh, and this is the same GSO 10 that I've used in all my other videos. And I've done a lot more than just that, what you've seen in the videos in terms of uh, work on chopping wood and cutting through uh, thorns and brambles on my property. So here it is, piece of receipt paper. I don't expect it to go through this. Oh, look at that. Oh, sorry, you couldn't even see that. All right, here we go. Look at that. Just clean. Are you doing this clean on camera? Are you seeing this? Until the wind blows it out of my hands. It just passes through it effortlessly. Here's some single ply cardboard from a line and Cougar's box. Just passes through it. Going along the pipes, across the pipes. Kind of a large tool for uh, cutting down cardboard, but just to give you an idea of what it's capable of. Gonna make slivers basically of this cardboard. This is some of that double ply stuff, which is actually almost twice as thick as the GSO 10. Thick stuff. Mosquitoes are starting to get bad out here. There we go. Whew, this cardboard is thick. There we go. Jeez. Easier to go along the pipes than across with this one. That is some thick cardboard. Found respect for box cutters, I'll tell you that. This is a Scrap Max 460, it's L Max steel. Um, I think it's close to a sixteenth of an inch, less than an eighth. This is that same cardboard I was just struggling through with the GSO 10, which is a thick blade. It's not meant for cutting boxes. Look at that. See how much easier that is? There's nothing to do with the steel. That's all just geometry. Goes through it. Like it wasn't even there. <laughs> 